welcome to another reaction of Doctor Who. <laughs> oh, yes, this is the season finale. Before we get into uh, this episode, y'all, I'm letting you know there's a lot of background noise. Absolutely there is. It's hot. It is scorching hot today. Um, you guys might start seeing me wearing um, see-through outfits like I just started doing, introducing here to this platform. Um, if your eyes are, are, are very sensitive to nudity, leave now. Not joking. <laughs> I promise you, I won't give you guys nudity. But it's super hot. And then, uh, let me tell you guys a secret, because secret secrets are no fun, so I must tell everyone. I have a fireplace in my room. Right, the electric fireplace. This little is cute. Um, and I have the light on, right? So before I went to work, you guys know, I work a graveyard shift. Absolutely. This is one of these moments. Gather around the table. Um, it's story time. So um, yes, I left this morning at like 12 o'clock midnight um, going to work. I thought I turned the light off on my fireplace and I did just that, but I actually turned the fireplace on and turn the AC off. So when I came back into my room this this morning, around 9 a.m., I walked in, I literally thought there was a fire in my room. It was so hot that I literally, I wanted to go into the TARDIS and fly the f out of here. Um, I was like, doctor, save me. Um, it was, it was really hot. So it's, although my AC's on, my fan is on, it's still not cool enough, at least not for me. Um, so I'm sorry. The point is, it's, there's a lot of shit going on. So I'm, I apologize for any loud noise you guys see, or hear, I should say, in the background. That's all, I wanted to give you guys a disclaimer, okay? Now, hair flip, you wanna see this in a full reaction, the links are down below, so please click those links and join our extended family today. I know you guys wanna see this in a full reaction. And while you're down there, can you please hit the like button? Absolutely. Share and comment down below. Thank you guys, you guys are so nice. I love you. Now, without further ado, ooh, let's jump into Doctor Who -E and find out exactly what the doctor has got to give. One day. I bring Sutex dust of death. Doctor, are you there? This is me signing off. Birds will sing again. There will be birds. Do you believe in the power of prayer? Will come to storm down his gates of gold and seize his kingdom in my true name. I'm sorry, you tiny little woman. I'm so, so sorry. I have such plans. Everybody's coming back. Doctor, my mother, why can't we see Ruby, her? we have got worse problems. What? What's this? Monster I have ever fought. Sometimes it's okay. It's your life, Doctor. 
They were all real. Absolutely real. Artis has a perception filter because it casts a field around it at 66.7 meters exactly. 73 yards. Funny things happen at 73 yards. People say that you can see things. Focus this mind and create a whole new person every ride land. You landed on us a hundred times. I think she was reborn every time. Sutek called her an angel of death. What did she do? Dust of death. Mother is she? It's everyone. No, but can't you Nothing just? I can do. It's happening over and over again. The earth is dying so many times. <laughs> Venus, Telos, Khan, and Skyro. Daleks are dead. Everything is dead. I did this. You did not. No. The universe has come to a halt, and it is my fault. My gosh. <laughs> He's very good at bringing the like drama. Stands Silent thing keeps living despite me. Secret the child carries with her. Sitting somewhere lost in the wind and the wild. Where are we? No idea. How did this person survive? Where did you come from? Nowhere. I haven't seen anyone in weeks. There was a caravan that passed through. Hush now, darling. Let me give the man his chaffy. There was a man that said that actual facts were dying in the death wave. In the planet? I don't think I was born here. At least you survived. <laughs> I'm not sure I did, really. Do you remember a, a not perhaps over that way? Metal is a precious thing, sir. I don't think anything's precious anymore. I suppose you do have a... Very nice face. It's this spoon, I promise. It might save the universe with this spoon. I think my daughter died, didn't she? And I forgot. They say it travels the death wave down the family line. 
so determined to kill that it can travel backwards from child to mother. Such a nice face. A metal, a TARDIS memory, something real. Thank you. I never understood what was all that Egyptian stuff. Cultural appropriation. They, that woman and the man with the hair. They just traveled uh. in the TARDIS. God, I forgot you. You okay? Exhausted. Why did he go on the attack? Ask her again. Why did he go on the attack? Why did Sutek appear on Ruby Road? My window is still connected to your memories. Maybe it's trying to ask you something. But what, what does this have to do with my mother? Oh! Oh! He saw the one thing beyond his comprehension. Your mother. But who is she? He's been riding on the back of the TARDIS beholding all of time and space and then he can't see one woman. She's gonna die. She's not this big cosmic thing, is she? Because in that case, what am I? Why was she pointing at you? Find the living through time and space. Government has collapsed in shame, in absolute shame. Let me see. Now the particular, the DNA testing regime. It's giving you another answer. The most dangerous prime minister in history. Right. You ever met him, have you? No. No, I couldn't, could I? DNA testing became compulsory for the entire population in the UK. So if your mother was still alive, she would the path to your mother. If I could just... What does that mean? Can we find Ruby's mother? Yeah, and what... Oh. Where's the Love a whistle. I see them. Melanie. 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 Closer. Bring them to Sutek. Thank you. I'll have the DNA. was locked away under top security. The guess who invented the security? Mel, you better keep watch. Sue Tech service could be anywhere. Don't worry about me. Find that name. Admit to me, Melanie. Where in there is your mother's name? And maybe we can use it to fight Sue Tech. Who is she? Who is she? Submit to the will of Sutex. Keep looking. I loved you, Mel. And what good did you love to do with Sutex? You can stand alone for all eternity. Show me the name. Show me, child. Do you just allow yes. me to stop? You have lived for far too long, little lord of time. I found the name. But I don't understand. But now I've found it. And I don't understand. But you can. <laughs> You great big god of nothing. No. No. Die at the hand of Sute. Santina. 
Is that Star Wars? We fought a monster. Now, I must become a monster. Still me, I've still got my memories, my family. The god of death created life. And he gave you a very good brain. Think Unit can use you. Oh. Oh, Pat. Anything to help, I don't mind. I got in and your gran was telling me off for not dusting. <laughs> Sherry. You brought her home. You brought all of us back. Done it. DNA retrieval 100 percent That's your mom? A regular technical lady? Alicia Miller, 35 years old, 15 when she gave birth to you. She did the right thing getting you out of that house. She must have hidden the pregnancy. Louise moved to Coventry at the age of 18, did well, got a degree. She's so ordinary. She's wonderful. We defeated Zutek. She was important. And it's now. Because we think she's important. To her sheer existence, more powerful than Time Lords and God. But she pointed. She did. Not the name of the road. She was naming you. But how did they know? Oh, the she pointed at Ruby. It's named her Ruby. She's got a flat. She's got a fella named Mike. For 7,000 days to come and find you. And she never had. It's your choices. And I think we should leave that alone. Who are you? That's me. It's named after a road. Ruby Road. Me where I was safe. And I just want to say thank you. <laughs> Christmas, I thought. What if she hates me? There is no hatred in this house. <laughs> it won't be long. We're just gonna up and a pizza and stuff. You and me. Where to? Wherever you want. Sorry, leave that. <laughs> and you no, know, I said life the doctor is just mad. Dad, William, they think. <laughs> because it turns out his mum and dad still live at the same address. He doesn't even know why he exists. So we've got to go and. Don't be sorry. New monsters and planets, legends. Will I ever see you again? Of course you will. In your dreams. Your own granddaughter. He left her and never went back. Maybe I'll find her again one day. Maybe. But you, our family in a way that I never did before, it's because of you. Ruby Sunday. That's how the story of the church on Ruby Road comes to an end. But life goes on, doesn't it? Ruthlessly. Oh, what happens to that mysterious traveler in time and space? I'm sorry to say his story ends in absolute terror. Night, night. Well, well, so we've wrapped up the season finale of Doctor Who. So let's jump right in there in the elephant of the room. Come on, elephant, and sit down. We have a lot to discuss. So, as always, the, the Doctor Who, for me, this is for me, y'all, and you can comment down below. You can argue with me if you like to. I actually like arguing. Um, <laughs> Confrontation is my number number one thing. Um, but regardless, um, it always seems, and this is not the first time this has happened, but the buildup of a certain character or, cer or something in Doctor Who always ends up, for me, not always, but a lot of times, ends up going doop. 
and I actually, although now that I'm thinking about it, the more I sit on it, it like, I like it, okay? I think what the doctor said in there, which was very, very good. I, I, I jotted some things down, absolutely. Um, so, I, let me see what I said. So I was reading something as well, just in order, the mother, the mother is what threw me off. After the reveal of the mother, I kind of got upset a little bit, but I didn't say anything, obviously. Uh, but the woman's name, the mother is Louise Miller. She had Ruby as she was 50 years old and left out of church because she came from an abusive home, right? So she did that because of her stepfather, who was extremely abusive. As the doctor explains, the mystery of Ruby's mother only became important because, as is so often the case throughout history, which is absolutely true, just like this show, just like this season, the importance was placed on a simple figure creating a myth more powerful than even a god like Sutek, which is perfect. So although it hit a flat line for probably most viewers when we discovered like, we're like, wait, this lady is just a regular lady uh, relaxing in Montauk. Uh, uh, she just saw the filming of Jaws. She's living her best life. She went to Starbucks, tried to get herself a, a cookie at Starbucks and, and a latte, but her daughter was being creepy crawler from Creepyville and just staring at her and then did that whole little setup. It was kind of cute, this setup. And all of us as viewers, let me not say all, but probably a lot of people were like, what? I thought it was gonna be Susan. I thought it was gonna be the TARDIS into a human. I thought it was going to be one of the gods like Sutek. Um, and that means that Ruby is some mythical creature. The point being, throughout history, importance was placed on a simple figure and creating a myth more powerful than Sutek himself, which is absolutely what we all were doing. We were all, the the the, the rumors were rumoring, uh, Reddit was Redditing, Twitter was Twitting, X was Xing, the platforms were platforming, the haters were hatering, <laughs> like these words that I'm making up. Um, and that's just what it is. And I bet you as they went on, people were going through, and I actually did notice when I clicked this, uh, to watch the show, people started downvoting. Now I'm going to go even more in depth um, and look and see so far what the ratings are. You guys know, I I do my little ones to the twos um, as I'm filming. So actually, I lied. It wasn't as, but wasn't, I thought it was gonna be a very, very low rating. Um, but it's actually a seven, which is really good because you know, people are bombing um, this show, and they're bombing other shows as well. Was hoping for more. Um, a great finale, Doctor Who is so back, failed to deliver on all the hype. This person f lost the meaning. The most in uh, inconsistent show in television. Okay, this person's just a hater. This person's a hater because they wrote too much and can't go lower than a one, another hater. Um, and I don't want to say like they're a hater because everybody has their own viewpoints, but if I even just try to read like a little bit of it, then I could just tell you, like this person wrote, wait, this person is, let me not go through. Um, the fans, of, I'm just reading a, a thing where one of the people who wrote, uh, gave it a one. The fans of Dr. Who, this disappointing season is undoubtedly frustrating. Years of emotional investment and uh, dedication deserve a more fitting payoff. However, it's important to remember that this finale doesn't negate the enjoyment and impact Dr. Who has had over its run. The character storylines and moments that resonate with viewers will continue to hold meaning. In conclusion, while this finale, I had to skip over it. In conclusion, the finale and overall final episode of the season fell short of the high standards set by early seasons. Doctor Who remains as important part of television history. Its success and failures alike offer a valuable lesson for future productions. As viewers, I mean, this person gave it a one, but they still gave a very impactful review. Um, but this person is definitely like an old school, like Doctor Who fan. And I'm, the reason why I say an old school Doctor Who fan is because this, this season is super, like it is, this season is more different than Jodie's era. Um, 
that's just how I feel. Um, but yeah, there's that. This episode just felt like all this another person. Episode felt like all the worst parts of Moffat's run as the ringleader rushed final action after a season long vague build to completely lack any real payoff. Do better. And you know what's also I have to say? Like, I generally don't like people. <laughs> I realize this. As I'm getting older, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I really don't like people. My thing is, do you, do, the people that hate on this show, or any show, right? And you could dislike the show, and you could be a huge fan, but to go through and try to, because I don't want to say sabotage, because everybody has their, everybody has a freedom of speech, right? And everybody has their own feelings, and I actually encourage it. But there's people that like go above and beyond. Like they see Doctor Who even reactions and they just do thumbs down. Or they'll just go over there and bash it. And it's like, do you write, do you write film? Do, as a person who's in the acting field, do you understand how hard it is to get up and to produce all this? One thing I know and two things are certain, all the negative things I was going to say, which wasn't that much, it was just more like the reveal of the mother wasn't like, up to what I thought, but it goes right into what the whole freaking point of the episode was. The, it goes in through the whole fucking season as how I was feeling. That was the point. Um, so I kind of take that back. Um, and I think that was only it. I think, I think there was a few moments of it kind of, I for me, that I had no idea what was going on in the beginning. Like in the beginning when it first started, I was so about it, then Somewhere almost in the middle, I kind of like left and started thinking about random things. Um, you guys don't have ADD. And then I came back at the end, and then when the mother reveal came, then I kind of lost it again because I was a little bit upset. And then by the ending of it, I was like, oh, okay, and I didn't cry. Well, let me give you the thought. Like my thoughts are all over the place. The reason, and so everything that negative that I was going to say, I'm taking it back, I'm taking a step back a uh, 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 push back in the chair because it's so fucking hard to go out there and act and what we watched for 54 minutes is I don't even know how long it could possibly be because people sometimes will bash uh, people's reaction videos okay I know how long it takes for to put reaction videos together to to film it to have the lighting to have the microphones to have the equipment to put it together, to sync it, to edit it, to put it on the platform, to make sure it's copyrighted. So it comes off for all the reaction, reaction videos that are like 20 something minutes, took hours. I can promise you it, it took them hours. It took them fucking hours. So for that, this show to give you quality, to give you great acting, to give you the, the, the VFX, to give you all of that, and for people to watch it for 54 minutes and then just gut it, cut it up, and slice it, and beat it down to a bloody pulp, it's infuriating for me as an actor. It's infuriating for me because people don't appreciate what the what time and effort and writing it is. I, I tried to write a, a play before, or that's a lie. I tried to write a skit a little scene before I couldn't even do it. So for somebody to be able to put all of this together, for the production, for all those people to put this together, I give a standing effing ovation. I have nothing effing bad to say. Well, little crit critiques, because I just, for my personal opinion. Um, But it's just, it's infuriating for me sometimes for people to not be so appreciative of a show that's been here for over 60 years and they can sit on their couches and eat their bags of potatoes chips and that's right the gold mic is here I'm annoyed back up uh, <laughs> but I act like like I said there's a balance where you can actually give your critique and give your review and your honest review where it could be negative but you still are appreciative of the time the effort the writing and all of that in. and if it's just not for you it's just not for you you could be a fan of the show and you could like your taste buds. When I was younger, I hated tomatoes. Now I'm older, I love tomatoes. Cut up a tomato and throw it on everything I, I want, okay? It's just with time and space and time comes change, okay? So um, I don't bash, I actually want people to tell me what their honest opinion is. You like it, you love it, whatever the case 
case and scenario is. But just don't do your damnedest to try to destroy it. And all the work that those people put into it, all these actors, writers, lighting, sound, VFX, all of those people, the directors, the b behind the scenes, they worked tire tirelessly to produce this film, produce this season, and bring you the continuation of Doctor Who in their view, in their eyes, in their wonder, and continue on 60 years plus and going. And it's just sad that people um, are just angry. You know what you should get? You should get a Klondike bar or a Snicker. Hungry, why wait? Anyways, <laughs> I just preached. Did you guys like that? You better be standing up and give me a clap. Um, anyway, so let me tell you why I didn't like it. <laughs> Besides the reveal, which I now take back because I understand the whole damn point of it. What's up with the snow? I wanna know what the snow is. The lady, the lady, the lady. The old lady is officially called Mrs. Flood. Um, and she did say uh, she breaks the fourth wall, which I live, I love. Um, she said that the doctor's end uh, will still end in absolute terror. That's most likely going to be how um, this doctor's fate ends and how he's gonna change into a new doctor. Um, she's probably gonna wrap up that whole storyline for him. She said, and I quote, Tell your maker I will come to, to storm down the gates of gold and seize his kingdom in my true name. Right then I was like, yep, it's, it's about to be game time. We also got hints of importance of 73 yards. Um, we've heard that, we've heard that, we've heard that. Where was um, uh, David Tennant in the world? Did he turn to dust? Was this an adventure moment? <laughs> Did everybody turn to dust? There's a really cute guy outside my house right now. I just saw him through the window. <laughs> I told you ADD's real. Um, so, yeah, there was that. There was that. Um, I thought when Kate died, I thought that she was going to stay dead. But when I saw everybody dying, I was like, oh, okay, Kate's fine. <laughs> Kate's alive. Um, so that was good. That was good that she came back. Overall, Ruby is one of my favorite companions thus far me watching Doctor Who overall. Um, I think my favorite, well, I'm not gonna go through all the damn doctors, but Ruby's up there. She's, she is one of my favorite, uh, companions. You guys know who my favorite companions are? Comment down below. Which one do you guys think are my favorites? You guys have been here, majority of y'all have been here since I started Doctor Who. Do you remember who my favorites are? And do you remember which ones I hate? Um, <laughs> that would be fun. What's your favorite companion? Comment down below. Um, and which ones do you hate? Um, and let me, the one that I've gotten so far because if you tell me about doctors that I haven't gotten to yet then it would be actually still tell me anyways why not um so this season what do I think about this season I think overall this season was very very good <laughs> that is the famous quote here on this platform very very good um I liked it better than Jody era, and that was no shade, no tea to Jody. It's different. It was. It's a different take. I feel like this doctor is super emotional, though. I'm trying to remember the. Um, was Matt emotional? D David, David, and Matt, and Peter, and Jody. I don't think we're as emotional as this doctor. Like they made. They were like, give us cry, give us drama, and he was doing. He's very good at acting. Um, but I think he, I think the most times we've seen a doctor cry, for me, and I could be wrong, but the most times I've seen the doctor cry was with this guy. Um, he was just crying, 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 crying. Um, I, normally during the season finales, we've seen the doctor cry either when he was about to change or when he lost the companion, but this doctor, you know, what works? Um, I loved uh, Ruby's supporting characters, her stepmother, her, then her mom came. Um, Ruby is like super nice. Let me tell you something. If, well, <laughs> I realized I shouldn't say what I was gonna say. I was about to go in and I just don't think I should go there. So I'm leaving it alone. Um, let me think, let me think. Was there anything, Sutek. I love Sutek as a villain. Super dangerous. Once again, the Daleks get destroyed off screen. You know, I have to say, since we talked about this, um, one, I thought Maestro was gonna come back. Nope. 
two, I thought that we're gonna see even, maybe, maybe the mention of Scaro and Daleks. Maybe, maybe you didn't have to see it, the Daleks, but you had to mention at least, because we didn't see a Dalek. Did we see a Dalek? Did we see a Dalek this season? No, right? No, I don't think we did. I think we seen Daleks in a Christmas special, right? Maybe that's what it was. I don't really remember. Um, but the Daleks, once again, get destroyed off screen. <laughs> like, this has happened to them multiple times. I thought they were, like, really, really dangerous. But just here comes a guy or a god just blowing dust. Bye-bye, Daleks. Or Daleks. I'm calling them Daleks. So, I love Sutek as a villain. I really, really loved seeing the dog thing going through the portal, through the time and space, and watching him. Um, and I actually liked the rope thing the gloves um that whole nine yards and honestly it still gives a possibility of sutek maybe coming back eventually although we did see him and his demise i feel like this is doctor who and the, and it's possible that sutek is probably like going to come back somehow um but definitely a very 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 powerful uh being and I really did enjoy that uh, that villain. Now, I did see somewhere that said eight episodes is way too short for Doctor Who. Um, who is in my garden? Uh, somebody's like, somebody's like, oh, sorry, somebody's in my garden. I could like, there's a lot going on. Don't move to New York City if you get easily distracted like I do, because child, there's always something happening. Um, but regardless, yes. What was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Let me get off of this reaction, child. Um, I loved I loved the villain. That's what I was gonna say. I love the doctor. We're getting the same doctor, a new season. I just saw somewhere that it's gonna be a Christmas special later on this season, probably by the ending, and then they're getting up new seasons in 2025. Very excited to see it. Very excited to see what you guys say. Comment down below. I will see you all next time with more reactions.